All right, so we're finally here. We closed yesterday, and as I've explained many times, we couldn't get in. So my contractors actually were so excited to go, they came at like 7 a.m. this morning and sat here. And well, they got discovered, and the past owners were not happy and screamed at them to get out of there. So it's actually four o'clock, a um, couple hours early, checking. So there's no keys under the mat. There's supposed to have left me the keys, but they didn't. So they said seven o'clock they'd be done. It's 4.30, I thought maybe we, because my contractors actually want to work tonight and get going. So I thought maybe they'd leave me the keys, but they didn't. So I'm just checking the house right now to see if we can get in, but maybe they got to come get one more load or something before. And then after seven, we should be good to go. Oh, see my gates busted here, so we'll be having to fix that. Huh. Yeah, after hearing about getting yelled at and stuff, I don't want to be here too long, but I don't see anybody here. I thought they'd be gone, so we'll check back in. Alrighty, so we're going to continue this video on. I'm going to be very transparent with it. We're going to go through. It's really important that if you're going to be doing these flips, you're newer, that you watch this whole video because, um, again, it's all new to us. What we're going to do, I got my notes here. Um, we finally do get the keys, and then we just give access to our contractors for three or four days. So we're going to leave, get the heck out of town, and just let them go to work. Um, that's what we really need to get going. Then we're going to come back. Uh, you will see this, and we went over budget a little bit. Some things went wrong. Always going to happen with a with a flip. I guess not always, but for the most part, things can go wrong. So we'll talk about where not only the extra added expenses are, but how we're going to negate that um, in the budget. And we're not quite sure. At the end of this video, what we'll do as well is we're going to talk about the draw process because they've done so much work. He had like 18 guys working in there. Um, he, we're going to take a draw out for, you know, upwards of fifteen to twenty thousand dollars already. So not only will we talk about that draw process, we gotta make sure it's all completed work. Um, we're gonna go through it with our contractor, but we actually have our custom cabinets guy there too. He draws up the plans right in front of us and goes through it and we talk about how much more that's gonna cost uh, versus going with prefab, but the good news about custom cabinets is he's going to start them like now now and have them in a couple days So we're not gonna have to wait weeks months uh, to get these things in Or have anything wrong like in the next week or two We're gonna have all the cabinets completely done in the entire house for bathrooms uh, For the kitchen, so it's gonna cost us a little bit extra. You'll see that and how much more that'll be um, We break down budget with our contractor exactly um, to the T so this is gonna be one that you just kind of watch and you're gonna see exactly how this process goes through. And then at the very end, I'm gonna, I'm looking at it right now. I've got the draw uh, that we put in and I actually have the results back of the draw because they didn't give us all the money. So I'm gonna tell you how you can get it all, uh, but also tell you, you know, how much it costed with all the fees and everything too. So let's get back to it. Uh, you're gonna see I've got my Snoop Dogg sweatshirt on for shizzle. You know, it's Chris Missile for shizzle. Uh, and then we'll, we'll go through this whole process and we'll see you at the end. All right, so it's Christmas Eve the next day. Last night they didn't get the keys till about 7.30. So uh, today we are in here. They have been working through the night. So we're gonna see what they've done so far. I'll turn you around. Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Got some walls. So it looks like we're already Framing up stuff. What's up, Oscar? Wow. Looks good. What up, Ismail? It's a new one. What's up? You guys can just be very careful. The stairs are right over there. Just be careful, okay? Wow, you guys already got the kitchen out. Yeah, everything's out. And the hood's, hood stand, right, Jill? No. <laughs> We don't have any water yet, so we will. It's not mean like water for flushing or anything. There's no water to the house? Not yet. I just switched uh, it to our No, no, no. What I'm saying is we cut it off. Oh, you cut the main. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing all the repairs. So this is, this was through here, and now it's going to be 
a formal dining room and that'll be a bedroom over there. So that's how we're gonna get a fifth bedroom. This is what we decided, my wife did before I even showed up. So as long as we put a closet here, it's gonna be a huge fifth bedroom, kind of like a mother-in-law suite down here below. And then now we've walled this off. This is all fresh framing for a formal dining room. I, I will. The one thing that we found in here and throughout the whole house, my contractor did, not us, is that uh, the, all the water lines were galvanized pipe. So if you see above me, this is all brand new PEX um, and they are basically replacing the plumbing throughout the entire house. And the good news, it, it was his idea. He said, I just want to do it right. Um, and the good news is they started remodeling some of the wall and the pipes were breaking. And that's actually why we got this house because the pipes had burst and flooded this whole house. So I think that probably would have continued. And that's something that we can put when we list this thing to sell it. Um, Cause people are gonna ask what happened, you know, and we could say it flooded, but we replaced all the pipes hundred percent. And I think that's gonna be a big selling point. So that's what he was saying. I mean, that runs all the way up to the upstairs there to the second floor so they got all the pex pipe i don't know if i can go down anyways they got all the pex pipe behind me and it looks like they've already been slapping up some new drywall so they worked through the night obviously it wasn't something we we told them don't worry about it we're not that stressed but they wanted to work make some money so um, we got all new plumbing going through here i am now in the master bathroom so I'll have to get my wife in here to tell us what we plan on doing because if I turn this around, you'll see that this shower here actually is a big old step in. So maybe we put a tub shower in there, make it lower still, but more of modern. All right, so we were gone a couple days and man, they did a lot of work. So the contractor is the most important thing at all times. So we were able to have some conversations with them while we we're gone. But I'm gonna turn you around. And as you can see here, this has been framed off now and is that bedroom. We'll put a closet in there. Now, when you walk in, we've got all the drywall done in here. They did all this in about three to four days, almost 97 sheets of drywall throughout the house and replaced all the galvanized pipes. So now we've got brand new pipes what we're thinking of doing, we just had all our meetings, um, keeping these lights the way they are, but, but replacing them, we want fans and lights hanging and, and no extra can lights, probably paint the beams and the brick, uh, black. And then the big change is going to be that kitchen, which was very small walled off. It wasn't small, but it's very walled off. And now this opening, uh, was basically where that crack in the drywall was right here that was all that little buffet area thing uh, or whatever you want to call that all gone we got a new beam across here and a new beam across there and it opened the whole thing up and with that we had an awkward step so they have today come in and poured uh, all fresh concrete there to make one big long step now we will remove that hood that drove me nuts the past few days i'm like i just want it gone i hate how it covers everything so that's going to go and we had the cabinet guy come here so what we originally had was you know maybe going with some prefab cabinets um the issue you run in with prefab if you're trying to get it done quick is that it can take sometimes weeks, if not months to get them in. That's the issue that we found on, uh, you know, uh, before on a flip that we did around the corner. Obviously, you know, we weren't fully in charge of that one, uh, but that, that did take about six, seven months to complete. And this one, we're four days into it, you know, so we're hoping to get this one done in four to five weeks. And having the cabinets custom built is a little bit more. Um, we're not gonna go all the way to the ceiling um, we're going to do them a little bit more standard, but still really nice and we can get them done really quickly, right? So that's the main reason that we wanted to come in and get the customs done. So we can put in wall oven over here. Um, we went through the full design with him and he's going to give us a quote on it. Put the sink over there. We'll have a 30 inch cooktop right there stove. And then uh, just all basically cabinets here, keeping that 
pantry over there, but just clean it up nice. So this hood will be gone. Now we step down, it's massive in here, super tall. Um, and now you have a formal dining room here that is walled off completely. Now the other side is that bedroom. So now we get that extra bedroom so that we can definitely, uh, you know, when it, when it comes to comps, having those extra bedrooms is huge for resale value. And it's gonna be a big one with a big closet. So this is all looking amazing. I'm gonna take you into the master. And as you can see there, they took the post out of the middle, one big opening. And then this, they raised that opening to match this one. And now we've got a big open. So everything's just wide open and big. <laughs> then we'll come in here. Laundry room's all ready. It's framed in, you got your boxes ready to go. Master, this had no drywall the other day. It is done. Now we just gotta tape texture mud it. All new plumbing throughout, all the galvanized plumbing removed. And that's where that door was. There was a set of French doors right here and they were old and janky. So my wife thought about it a day or two ago and said, you know what, the windows are perfect. I wouldn't want to walk out to just a little concrete pad. There's really no reason to have it. Um, there's no covered patio. You're not going to go out there, so just wall it off. And so they did, and they're putting new siding on the outside as well. So now we've got a really good sized uh, master bedroom. And then the bathroom, what we're going to do, we decided keep the closets most likely and the toilet. And then instead of building that shower over there and having a tub, we uh, are going to frame up a um, two by four frame and drop a big square or like rectangle tub in there and then frame up the sides so that we can tie all the sides, tile around the back, up the back side here, and then you'll have a big sitting tub and then put the shower head, you know, either side, but most likely right here. So you would step into it, um, have a normal shower and have your deeper tub right there and do the shower curtain, eliminating any glass, which is a 12 to $1,400 increase in budget. So by doing this, it's gonna help us to stay in budget. We'll get the big tub plus, you know, shower, keep double closets. So, you know, I think having the double closets is gonna, is gonna really help as well. And then if we go upstairs, Excuse me. The big changes up here are we've got this bedroom staying the same. We're going to do, uh, let's see if I can peek around there. Just a, uh, you got a closet there. Everything's staying normal. This will be uh, dual vanity sinks here. And another, we got to get new tubs. We were going to try and reuse them, but they're just chipped, they're nasty. They're really old, so replace the tub, do a tub shower in here. Now we have this little closet, so it's kind of small, but it is technically, you know, a closet, and you've got this massive space. So we gain the bedroom downstairs. We have the studio on the back side of the um, garage. So technically we could say, hey, this is an extra bedroom, fifth or sixth bedroom, or your media room. I would envision since we've added extra bedrooms already, this could be a really big um, media space. You know, make this a living area, it's very big, and put, you know, the big TV on the wall or something like that. Um, this used to be the bedroom, actually we found out through the framing. So the, bed, the it used to be walled off right here. And on the other side, when I go in the other room, I'll show you, there is a door right there. So it went into the bathroom. And maybe there is an old door in here or something. One issue that came up once this this used to be the big bookcase right here, leather, you know, all the all the books and stuff. When they removed it, a lot of mold right here. And I mean, you can see that's on my hand. It's kind of fresh. So we've got mold there. We've got mold over here, and it's wet, so it's gonna have to be replaced. But I think what's happening, obviously, maybe some of the roof is ruined or jacked or whatever but you've got these massive bull pines here and you see the amount of leaf or uh, needles so if i actually go up you're going to see in the peaks and valleys here there's tons of these needles and they back up and i think they create dams and that water's going up under the shingles creating issues so 
He does have a crew removing all those, but we got a roofer coming to see if there's actually damage to the roof needs to be. So it could be, you know, an extra cost replacing any kind of, uh, you know, uh, what am I thinking of plywood up there, shingles. Um, but we got to make sure that we get that solved for sure. So we don't have any water leakage at all. So got that big bedroom. This is pretty cool up here. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, getting in their way. I hate doing that. We got the last bedroom over here. And that's the one toilet that's good. That's a newer one. So we're going to keep that, reuse it, get new ones. So you've got a big closet there. Have a dual, uh, dual sink here, vanity. Um, you can see there, that's what I was talking about. That, that used to, this used to be a door, so it was a Jack and Jill bathroom that you know you could come in from that room over there. And this one's just gonna, we're just gonna turn it into probably just a walk-in shower. So one really nice tiled walk-in shower. Uh, since now this bedroom is by itself. We had talked about maybe making you know, a smaller bedroom back there, but we just said, no, let's keep it big, keep it open for a meaty room, and we'll roll that way. So that used to come into the bathroom here, and they obviously sealed that off um, to make the big library they had. So I'm sure over here somewhere, maybe in here, um, used to be a door that went into that bedroom at some point. Now this big post here is gone. You can see really big and open space. So pretty cool now how much space how open and man that kitchen's gonna look nice so after seeing all this now we've got to go through our budget um, and because <clears throat> uh, with hard money now they're not gonna lend uh, give you a, a, a draw I guess they call it a draw until the work is completed so they have an inspector uh, it's the holidays right now that is not going to be able to come out till next Thursday, I believe. So today is Thursday, next Thursday a week, they will be able to come out. And, uh, sorry. And that way we wanted to see how much work we can get done to draw and pay our contractor. It's looking like it's gonna be around 22, 25, $27,000 already, but in just four days, basically, that's how much work they've gotten done, which is amazing. Uh, to be able to see that, you know, and, and to rely on that. We were out of town for two, three days, and so it's just, it's amazing to to have the people here working and then, you know, the contractor that you trust. And we found a few things that's going to push us above the budget a little bit. And again, we put this deal together in seven, eight days, basically, um, and he went off a video that I sent him, so he never really got to come in and see it. And it was tough to get a time to come back, but uh, really, you know, talking with so many people about these flips, you know, I talked to a guy who's done a hundred of them. He's like, basically, I look at two out of every 10 that you're probably going to break even or lose money on. So I definitely think we're going to make some good money on this. But that me, that tells me like, you're not going to do these every time and the budgets are going to work out. You're going to find things when you open up walls and that's just kind of the risk. But at the same time, right now, now that everything's been gutted and we're kind of putting it back, we are, okay, we're feeling pretty good with the shell of everything. And Shouldn't be too many other issues that come about, but I will definitely keep you guys posted on all this. And that means that we're just a little bit above, you know, our budget right now, two, three grand of the original that cuts into profits. But at the same time, um, the speed at which we're working at, hopefully we can have this thing listed in the next four or five weeks. Uh, so we're not paying those monthly payments, you know, which increase. So if we take a draw, that, that monthly payment increases a little bit uh, obviously, you know, we'll do a deep dive on hard money so that you're very informed. I'm, it happened so quick to me that I was just telling my wife and I was telling the, um, hard money, you know, Justin, who I was working with, I'm like, we were just trying to close on this so fast that like, there was no way I could consume all that info that you guys sent me. So we're going to go through the draw process next of getting our contractors some of the money and so now I think going forward a lot of these things are just going to become so much easier but again you got to take that leap of faith and you just got to get after it to, to learn this stuff and you know I took I mean since I got serious you know six eight months of just kind of twiddling my thumbs and not doing anything and I was like I gotta just do this I just got to do it you know you got to do shit so um, feeling pretty good about it super pumped and 
now we're just going to go through that budget and try and get the draw process and keep plugging away for the next few days. The framing repairs, check, right? Um, insulation walls, check. Yes. Um, Sheetrock, hang check. tape, float, that'll be done by check. then, check. Okay. Um, Primer, check. Paint, check. Carpet, check. What for is purple vinyl tile? Because it, it's all summed up in one. I'm just going to mark it and then maybe put part it so it won't be fully done on what sure. I have to expect. Maybe so for now. We're, we're learning. Um, I'm thinking we're probably just going to do two. Sheet rock check. Create another bedroom check. So those are all the things that I can put in for, for funding. Okay. Yep. And just, okay. Which is a it's a big chunk, yeah. It's a big chunk. Mm -hmm. um, so what I want to talk with you about, so um, when you quoted, Buddy. so kitchen cabinets hardware, so, um, and then the remodel for the three bathrooms. So, like, you're providing, like, the tub, the glass, in with this quote. So, no. so with this quote, uh, if, if you can see, did you see how much I put on this for the restrooms? Yeah. So that's that's gonna be the basics. That I wasn't including glass. The glass okay. is like almost about twelve hundred or fifteen hundred, depends on the size. Yeah, on what we do. Um, yeah, depends. And so downstairs, we're mm -hmm. doing a basically a tear out and a redo. But I think y'all want to do another sh a shower and a tub. No, well, after we had this discussion, or other at the beach house. The way that they had a huge tub, mm -hmm. and it was kind of set back like how we have the two um, closets, mm -hmm. and it was just tiled all the way up to the ceiling on the sides, and it was tiled around the tub. So it's a stick-framed tub, or it's a tub it's a where they just stick frame it with two by fours and tile the outside. Yeah, and it actually. And then you step in it for a shower there's too. There's no glass. We just get. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep. So frame up a tub and then. Frame a tub, tile it. But like, so that's what I'm saying with this. We, now we, we need to get two tubs for upstairs, a tub for the basement. Yep, or the for master. The master. And then I'm just thinking of like the sinks, the faucets, all of that right now. Uh, what a... Because you have it quoted kitchen cabinets and hardware, and then kitchen counter, granite, marble, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they did put in here... If you didn't quote for um, for electrical trim, fixtures, fans, lights, etc. Mm -hmm. So, because I'm trying to come out of here, we don't have to pull our own money. We of course. Use this. Of course, of course. So that's where I am. And then, like the three restroom upgrades, you know, is twenty twenty thousand. So, but that's including the tubs. Or no. Say that one more time, sorry. The, the three restroom upgrades. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering because. Um, it's at like twenty thousand. Yeah, so at twenty thousand, I wasn't planning on changing them. I was going to resurface them, but yeah. if I mean, they kind of look pretty bad after we got yeah. everything demoed and everything. They looked pretty bad. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm thinking the same thing you're thinking. Replace yep. the tubs. The only thing that I saw is that they're little beady tubs, and in one of the restrooms, they're actually framed out a little bit to fill that. To like the five foot stand, like sixty inch. Yeah, they cheated a little bit, and it looks a little odd. Okay. So, we'll look at it, though. So you just let me know. Quick question. Y'all aren't... Y'all aren't... Y'all wouldn't be... Uh, would y'all be opposed to a walk-in shower instead of a tub? Maybe for, like... For one of them, maybe? For one of them, yeah. It doesn't really for matter. For sure. It's, it's the same I, cost. It's I just... think that the one for a walk-in... Um, for the... For the the back, the, the back bedroom upstairs because it's it's cut off and it's just for one person. Mm -hmm. I feel like because it's in there, so that would be good for doing a walk-in. Unless you think that the other one would be better. I actually don't care. You tell me what bathroom you want to do. Walk well, it doesn't matter. They're the same. They're okay. All the same. So uh, probably the one that's got the offset on the framing. Which one? Which one is that? The one uh, in the back. Um, Back corner? Yeah, that's the same one she's talking about. Mm -hmm. It's the bedroom that's by itself. Mm -hmm. Yep, that one. Okay, I'd say perfect. That would be a plus too because it's not a shared restroom. It's right. more of a like a master. So that can be walk in. Yeah. A new just whatever tub for the other upstairs bathroom. And then yeah, the 
master will just do kind of a bigger tub and frame the sides and tile it with a shower head and a curtain, no glass. Right. So that's, that's what I would do too. We have it at our beach house and we she takes, but it's super deep. It's, it's really pretty. And then a shower curtain is just all you need. My kids hate glass doors. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in a shared restroom. Yeah. Yep. One, especially if it's family, they're gonna go in there if one shower is up, you know. That's why you just like a tub, a lot like in. Just have Armando, ya la tienes? Sí. Hola. He's got a little sketch for us. No lo pude dejar usar muy bien para la libreta. Es que olvidé la libreta de la camioneta de él. Bueno. Bueno, esta sería la pared donde. Oh my God, that's cool. This is your oven. Mm-hmm. Your cabinets. Yep. Mm-hmm. Your stove. There are three drawers. This is Lazy Susan. The Lazy Susan in the corner. One little door. One little door. And the Arriba, top. The other side. Let's see, that's this so video. cool. This is the same Lazy Susan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, three drawers. Cajones. Mm-hmm. Sink. Double mm-hmm. puerta. Dishwasher. Dishwasher. Puerta y cajón para que tenga acceso hacia el otro esquina. Another corner. Mm-hmm. So would that be another Lazy Susan? Or what, si la what is it? Puede, si se puede. Yeah, we can do another Lazy well, Susan. Well, what would you have done if there was no Lazy Susan? What are as, any other options? What is the other option of Lazy Susan? Mm, se puede hacer cajones o se puede hacer... Uh, I, I don't really care. I was just ah, es que hay cosas que se pueden meter como... ¿Cómo se llaman de estos? Or just have... Shelves? Mm, no, hay uno... Yo le voy a mandar una foto de qué es lo que se puede meter para ver. He's going to send us a picture of what you can actually oh, yeah. slide in there. Oh, yeah, this is the most important thing. That's the fridge. Okay. Yep. And that's it. Aquí le dejé puertas para que tenga acceso para la esquina. Doors for the corner, access for the corner, just in case if we if we don't do a Lazy Susan there. Okay, whatever he wants to do. Perfect. Okay, nomás es eso y la último sería la, la isla. And the last thing is the island. Uh, si, yo más o menos le estantí una 55 por 32 pulgadas. Y le voy a hacer diseño. But this isn't going to be here. Dis, diseño de enfrente. Esto no va a estar aquí, acuérdate. Oh, ¿qué va a llevar? Se va a quitar este, oh. la estufa va al otro día. Va a tapar ahí. Acuérdate, sí, ya. No, no, pero este va a ser para el diseño de la, de la, nomás va a llevar un diseño en la parte de enfrente de la estufa. Este sería... Oh, sería ok, el... nomás le pusiste eso para el diseño. Sí, nomás para saber qué va a ser. This is going to be a design on the back side, basically. Oh, okay. okay, cool. That's all I'm showing you. Okay. Depende si va a ponerle Dude. granito o no. And then we just have one, a little overhang for bar stools. On the back side, right? Yeah. Well. By the breakfast side? It would be yes. not by the sink living, side. Yeah, yeah, living room yes, side. Yeah, living room yeah. side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just a little. So the, those doors would be facing the sink. The sink, yeah. correct. Yep. And so that's a 55 by 32. Have to do, okay. Oh, this is facing the sink. Right. Yes. Okay. And off the back, we would have the normally nine inch overhang. The, normally, or the opposite side, you don't do drawers because you have overhang. Yeah, that's right. why I was like, okay. Cool. That would be on the other side. And then mm. just one with this. Is there any way we can just just come up a little higher, just for a little like? Then, so aquí, it's not aquí en just... esta le podemos dar hasta arriba. Sí. Yeah. Uh-huh. Levantamos hasta arriba uh-huh. para sacarla el 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 humo para afuera. Uh-huh. We're we'll doing all the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, just ceiling. Like, yeah. We'll do it. that way. It's like a little like mm-hmm. eye pleasing, you know. Not a problem. Because it's going to be the fan. That's where the fan's going to be. And then he's also doing all the vanities. Okay. okay. And those can just be basic. Yeah. 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 Just wall wall basic. These are not countersunk, just regular shakers. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Easy. And then, again, with like the bathrooms, just whatever he wants to do. Gotcha. To do. Quick and easy drawers and yeah. Yeah, cabinets yeah, underneath. Yeah, we're going to make it usable. It'll be usable. Yeah. Uh, we also... How much is that quote for de- the kitchen cabinets? Demo. 10,000. Yeah. So, basically, I... I uh, I, I'm actually a little low on this, just so y'all know, because um, he's actually charging me a little more than ten thousand, well, including what, all the vanities. Then what we'll do to make up for that is use this, because they they put in this twenty five for a trash and dump demo, and you okay, did it. wonderful. So then that could make up for that. That actually exactly covers that. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then that will exactly we'll do that. covers that. Because here's and the, I, and I'll take care of the painting. It's not a problem. Okay. And then. So you didn't quote painting for, of the cabinets. You didn't quote for this. Right. So I I'm gonna use this for like I'll use this money to get the fixtures, lights, mm-hmm. and the sinks. I just don't know how like if I if I buy it and then you're gonna get checked get the check for it. So no, I, y'all, I would, y'all are gonna get the check. We get that this hard money goes straight to our account. Yeah. Oh, and then okay. we write him checks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then I'm just gonna. Yep. So but then. 
okay, so we can pay ourselves back if we use our own money for... To yeah, and the... you can take as much or as little draw as you want. So if you want to kind of fund it yourself, get the whole thing done, and then fund yourself at the end, you can. Okay. It's just they will not fund ahead of time. It's got to be a finished product okay. for them to give us any money. Okay. So, okay. yep, that'll be perfect. Okay. Then we can okay. get a then huge we... whack of that, fund us, pay him, and then um, okay. and then just go for another week or so or two and, and get another big chunk done. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad that we had this to cover Yes, me too. Because he, like, we want to. I want you to make as much money as you can. Yep. I want us to make as much course, money as you course. can. Of course, of course. But I want it. I don't want money coming out of our pocket. Agreed. Yep. If we already have this. No, no, no. I 100% agree. So here's the only the other kicker. So, um, whenever I gave you a quote on everything, yep. you obviously hadn't even seen it. Seen it. Yep. Not only that, I added all the plumbing, all the water lines, yeah. all yep. that. I'm not even charging you for the water lines or yep. that stuff. When you. Pipe something like this is about sixty five hundred dollars. Yeah, this is about what what it costs to do that. And well, another thing too, you didn't fund for like so that you'll get an extra three hundred here. You mm -hmm. know, there's things that you didn't. Right, right, right. For. They added it. So we'll. And I'm sure, and I'm sure that's that's gonna happen. All it was is I kind of came in here and know. I just I, I I came in the blind and yeah, I you thought, went off a couple minute video. I and I, I I thought it was only regular sinks, not double vanities everywhere. Yep. Every one of those restaurants is a double, double vanity. vanity. And then yep. it's not just a standard double vanity; it's an extra long yep. double vanity. So uh, not only is the cabinet gonna cost me, the countertops are gonna cost me, the sinks are gonna cost me. The is that something that you ever just I mean, for sake of being, go to Costco and get a sixty inch double vanity type thing? But there's or? no 60s here. All these are extra long. Right, but you you don't have to go wall to wall. You know what I mean? They can be free floating, free standing. Well, they don't fit because your plumbing's already way okay. out there. Okay. Then we're if that so, jacked. Okay. Yeah. I'm just throwing it out there if it's something. And we're, this is our first time doing this. You know, is this going to be a learning curve? Oh yeah, yeah. You're gonna, yeah we're yeah, going to have yeah. some other ones where yeah, you're going to have some foundation shit that comes up. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have everybody for everything. Here's the thing, for example, um, the uh, the plumbing. If if y'all were here. And I know, hey, we're like, we can just go ahead and do one yep. like from Costco or whatever yeah. and, and put them all in here. Then, They're then $800, would... let's do it. Top and bottom and everything. Cool, let's do it. But but at that point, we would mess the plumbing a little bit different to, to yep, make it to a, to adjust for that. Let me try to find for the powder room just a, just a free floating stand in and then I can just pull from that like the fixture budget. For, sure. for that bathroom. Sure, whatever you want to do. Because it has the countertop sink. Yeah, 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 I agree. So I'm like, that's just so And that one's centered, so I'm sure so the plumbing tiny. would be... So let's measure it so it I know what, what size to okay. get. Okay, probably a little and 30. Then, um, 30 or 32. What about toilet? Oh, yeah, those I'll buy. They're, they're cheap. Okay. Okay. One's good. Yeah, upstairs. Only one is good. I'm just saying, yeah, one's like, good upstairs. picking out versus what I'm picking So normally on the toilets, I do the handicapped toilets. They're about 140 bucks a piece. They're, they, they flush great. Yeah. They're good inspection, everything. They're water savers, all that good stuff. So you're, you're good to go. Okay. Everything in this house is going to be good to go. Uh, the only, the worst part I think here was the plumbing. Yep. And that's out. Yeah. So you don't have anything to worry about when the it comes The plumbing to that. is what caused the issue. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you should have seen when they were pulling on it. They just snapped breaking. Oh, threads. man. And then so I said, um, I'm going to go try to pick out selections. Um, for the tile and the flooring. Mm -hmm. So what's my budget there? Is it so with our house. So or, I'm, I'm gonna go as cheap as possible. So how much did you spend over there? Uh, on our flip. Mm -hmm. I'd have to look. I think it was like, like, like two dollars and like said and done. seventy-five cents. A no, that's for install. That oh, for the flip. I thought you for, meant our house. That wasn't for the purchase. Yeah. But like said and done um, with everything, like toilets. Like everything mm -hmm. was like seventy eight thousand, but that was for everything for that flip. Yep, it was a smaller house, right? It was yes, by like three four hundred square feet. Mm -hmm. It was a smaller house. It was one re less restroom, smaller kitchen. Your kitchen oh, yeah, and yeah. your restrooms is what eats up your. Well, and then also we had a con. Yeah, no, no, no. It's it's all good. It, We're being yeah. recorded, but it was more then than it was. Now, this is a, a more sizable, oh, especially because yeah. a lot of the drywall being replaced and everything, too. Yeah. No, so I get it, but I'm just saying. You know how many sheets of the drywall we replaced? A whole shit ton. Almost 100. Like 97 sheets. Yeah. So. Yeah, we've brought three bundle, three loads of, of drywall. So, do you get your calculator out so we can sure. just add this number up? Let's then... do it. I'm ready. 
Okay, um, so for the flooring, so this will be done by the time, yes. or it'll be started at least. Yes, so 91, sure. um, 7865, 9, Just make sure that closet's done by Thursday. Uh, it de will. Demo trash. It's going to be done so, today. So this demo, this is going to go towards your extra cost for the ca mm -hmm. kitchen cabinet. So 25. Framing repairs, 550. Insulation, 300. Sheet rocking, temperature float, 5320. And, and I don't know what to do here yet. We so can wait on that. So then that that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna put for today. The 20. Okay. So 26,545. Okay, cool. So then just know that, that you're going to get prepaid mm -hmm. with in this check to help out with the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. To or me with it, this number. So just, it's going to be like to help with that, yeah. 13, yeah. And basically, so we're looking at um, about $2,500 on top of what you quoted us at the original. Right. Okay, so we're at like 85, or what was the original? 80? 83.5, I think. 83. Oh, 83, 350. 83, 350. So add another 2,500 on there. 85, for what? 850. What's the extra 25 for? 2,500 extra is what he's saying. All said and done, just for the kitchen because oh, yeah, it's well, more. That's, that's why. That's I know, but in total, the budget is 85, 5. Okay. 85, 750 or whatever. With 85, that, 850. With that extra. Yep. So we're going to go right 85. now with everything about 2,500 more than the original budget is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Correct? It's yeah. not? Right, that that right. covers the kitchen? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just in case, I don't know if the hard money covers it. I'm they, sure they will, but if not, they did. it will be something that we yeah. cover, yeah. And uh, another thing I didn't know what was going on was that back double door. Yep. We framed up and yeah. did all the siding all the way across. I didn't know that, that was going either. So. Yeah, and then we'll have to see what the roof is too, because that was unexpected. Well, that's why, but like, this wasn't in there. So this, this is what, that 550. So this is additional too. So right. I, yeah. guess, I guess let's add that too, because that wasn't in. I think you frame, did for no, framing, frame, oh, this framing was, repairs. This was his, and then this was the lender. Okay. So then that was 550. So we'll add that to the okay. budget too. So so at least you're getting that kickback. The materials, too, yeah. For materials. Yeah, the siding and, then, and the, then the plywood and the... the insulation. Sorry, I got to add all this up. Insulation, because you didn't like you didn't break that down in the budget. But I'm sure okay. it's somewhere else, but that's what we're gonna get paid out. So now we're looking at 3300, th like 3300 more over budget. Than okay. what was COVID for now. Okay. You have to pay for your trash. Your it trash usually, like ours, is uh. I don't know how big the trash is. I don't know either. Yeah. But I'm wondering if everybody. It's a, if you put it out, they take it. So what do you think, hon? Huh? Are you pretty? Excited? Pretty pumped? Yeah, I just got a lot of things to pick out right now. <laughs> like, I mean, picked out all the stuff for our house. Right. You know, it's this. There's just lots of, I'm hoping that $2,500 budget that they quoted. Like the, That's what we need to figure out because budget. I don't know. I think they're only giving us a budget of what our contractor said. I think they... But that's what I need. we need to call... Well, that's what you said. This is their lender budget difference in... Budget. Yeah, so I don't know if we're getting that full ninety. So this, so this is or be out of pocket. It would be out of our pocket. Yep. But that's what I was talking about on here earlier. Is that like I talked to Michael who does hundreds of flips, and he says two out of ten he's gonna break even or lose money on. So like, you're gonna come to upfront or, or extra costs on almost all of these. It's minimizing those. So two to three grand, yeah, it sucks. But at the same time, if if that's it. It's way better than finding complete structural so then, issues that are 30, 40 so grand. So moving forward, all the light fixtures and stuff, that's out of pocket. We're not going to get, it's not going to be from here. No, um, we just got to have his next budget we do with Ismail, have him line item that stuff. Yeah. We had eight days to do this. Yeah. And he saw, he went off a video. I know, and I'm just saying, this light fixtures that I'm going to be buying, I'm not going to, like, that's out of that, pocket. That's what I don't know. We're going to call Justin and go, okay... 
we'll get on a zoom call we'll pull up this budget and we're going to go through it and go okay this is what our contractor said it's going to cost this much this much and you you guys covered it do we get to draw that or no okay. right but at the end of the day we just have to pay ismail that full amount and so you know we can draw these items and pay him to to cover those things um and you know i mean that's where we got to work it out with him and just see where it all comes from yeah but okay i'm gonna start looking yeah i would say in our account flip account you know you keep five ten grand in there just for incidentals and stuff you know that yeah so learning <laughs>